Let's talk hard drives. Let's talk about some hard drives for the new photographers and videographers out there that are not, not sure what storage to get. So let's start off with this little fella. This is the Samsung SSD drive. This was my very first hard drive. And this is a great starter, okay? So this is an SSD, which is a solid state drive. And this is a portable SSD T5. Um, great place to start, 500 gig. When you're just getting in, into phot photography and videography, beautiful place. It'll fill up quickly though, as you keep on shooting. And the next thing you wanna move up to is one of these fellas. This is a Lacey hard drive, two terabyte. And I tell you what though, you should be buying, to save you a little bit of money, you should be buying four terabytes at least in these Lacey hard drives. Everything I record, I record on the SD card on my camera, and then I put it straight onto this, and this is what I work off. This is what I edit off. And these are very good to edit off. They're quick, they're rugged. Well, it's actually called a Lacey rugged hard drive. If you strip this plastic, this orange rubber off, all it is is a casing like this. The great thing about it is that they do come with this rubber casing. If your bags get chucked around in an airport or you drop this, the rubber casing protects it. And I mean, I wouldn't be throwing it around, but they've, uh, they've had a hard slog in my bag and they've been very good. So I've got a bunch of these and I work off them and I would highly recommend this for a new, or anyone that's a photographer or videographer. They can come in two, two terabyte, four terabyte, six terabyte, I think. And they're a really good point if you wanna move up from the, the smaller SSDs. Now let's get to the big boy, the most celebrated hard drive there is. I love this thing. Every time I work off this and, sh and upload to this, I back up onto this. So if you're a photographer or videographer and you need to back up, this is one of the perfect things to back up to. This is 10 terabyte and I haven't filled this, I've had this for about probably over a year and it's still got it like four terabytes to, to use. Now this sits on my desk here and you can also edit off this. So you can use this as a backup storage and it just sits in your office or your house or you plug this in, let's say you fill one of these things up, you can plug this in and, and back up your Lightroom catalogs, Final Cut catalogs, catalogs, Premiere, and you can edit off this. And this is also pretty quick, so this is a really good way to get, uh, to, to back up your storage if you're finding that you've, you, you're buying 10 of these, you know? So this was about 650 Australian dollars, it's 10 terabyte, and I would highly recommend one of these little fellas. So, I wouldn't call him a little fella, he's pretty big actually. Now, if you are an absolute legend and use Final Cut, I'm gonna show you a little tip here. If you get your hard drive full, and then you find that Final Cut comes up with a notification saying you can't edit because everything is full, let me show you what to do to clear some space so you can finish off an edit. So what you want to do guys is you want to go up to your, your title of your film and then you want to go across and you will see your cache files in the corner and you can see here it's 5.5 gig and now this gets up to 100 gig. This gets really high if you've got a long film. And then we go across here, we want to go to file and we want to go down to generated, delete generated library files. To delete render files. You go to all and you press OK. And then what happens is that Final Cut will delete any rendered files and you'll see that the cache now is dropped from 5 gig to 500 meg. And if you do that on all your projects, let's say there's 20 to 50 gig, you're gonna save 100 gig on five projects. So it's a very good useful tip if you're trying to save space on these little fellas here. Maximize your hard drive, people. Maximize your hard drives. Thanks so much for watching today and subscribe, like, share if you found this useful. Really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.
YouTube. No, we'll leave it.